better. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at his face, man. That's trauma, bro. Oh, no. They're not going to be able to do this. Don't move. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, man. Jesus. Hey, man. Fuck it. Go for it. Kick some ass. There you go. Hell yeah. Eat shit. Dude. Oh, badass, man. There, there we go, man. There we go. Give him another left. Oh, no. Nice. <laughs> this guy. Damn. He just hey, What the hell's going on? Oh. Let's go. Dude! Oh, yes! Hey, what's up, everyone? It's your guy Jesse back at it with another reaction, and I am dragging major ass today, man. I probably got about three hours of sleep last night. Um, fortunately, it was a light meeting day today, but I ended up taking a nap a little bit ago, and so I'm feeling good. I'm feeling energized. I'm ready to watch some awesome action, watch Sylvester Stallone hopefully kick a lot of ass, and we are going to be reacting to Rambo First Blood 1982. And man, these 80s action movies, dude. You know, the, the names for the main characters, we got like Rambo, Commando, um, Cobra, The Terminator. And I heard that there was apparently some kind of um, beef between Arnold and Sylvester back in the 80s. And so they were just trying to outdo one another, right? And, I mean, if anything, I guess th that ended up paying off for the fans because, you know, they wanted to go bigger, badder, more explosions, more weapons. And so, I mean, heck, if that means more awesome movies, then... Hell yeah, we'll take that, right? With that, please consider subscribing to the channel, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and let's get to it, man. Let's watch Rambo First Blood. Let's get it going. Ooh, it's a nice little score right there. Sylvester Stallone in First Blood. Oh wait, I thought it was Rambo First Blood. Is it just First Blood? <laughs> So if this was early 80s, then um, a series I have watched is Rocky. And I think in the early 80s is when Rocky 3 came out, like 1981-ish, 1982-ish. And so this was right around his uh, Rocky 3 film then. Look at him, handsome, look at that hair. I wouldn't rock that hair today, but <laughs> it looks great. It looks great on Sylvester Stallone. That's beautiful, man, look at that. Oh, to have, maybe someday. Someday, you know, just have a little, like, you know, lake house. Be able to go over there, chill. You know, just get on the boat. Be with my dogs. Oh, paradise. Excuse me, can you tell me this is where Delmar Barry lives? He ain't here. Go on inside, please. Damn, kind of rude. He ain't here. Now get off my property. Oh, he's a friend of mine. He brought this address down. You can see that's Delmar's writing. That's his writing. Like I said, he's a friend. <laughs> She's like, it's so what if it's his writing? <laughs> I don't know if you ever mm. talked about me. I've got a picture uh, of us together. <laughs> he's trying really hard to prove to her that <laughs> he knows the guy. Here it is. Here it is. That's me, Bronson, Ortega, and there's Delmar. He had to put him in the back because he's so big. If he didn't, he'd, he'd take up the whole picture. <laughs> Delmar's gone. What time will he be back? He died. What? Died last summer. Why not lead with that, man? Died how? Cancer. Brought it back from man. All that orange stuff that spread it around. Cut him down to nothing. I could lift him off the sheep. Damn. Well, and also, why not just lead with that, you know? Just, he's here excited to see his buddy. And when she said that, you know, it was cancer, he brought it back from from Vietnam, I thought maybe she meant more of like, uh, you know, she br he brought back some kind of darkness that just ended up being too much for him to handle, and unfortunately he passed away. I wonder where this is. This is beautiful scenery here. Morning, Amy. How you doing, girls? Great, thanks. Hey, he's got to say hi to the residents, you know, maybe, maybe election season is coming up. 
Got to make a good impression. Um, are all sheriffs, you know, are they elected? Um, or some are not, some are appointed? <laughs> shit, fuck you, man. <laughs> That's what I would tell them. Here's your bath, asshole. But yeah, so I wonder if, uh, well, probably in small towns you gotta get elected. Visiting somebody around here? You know, wearing that flag on that jacket. Looking the way you do. You're asking for trouble around here, friend. Wait, what? <laughs> now jump in. I'll make sure you're heading the right direction, huh? Alright, man, this guy is kind of being a dick. Obviously, you know, there were citizens in, in part of the country that didn't agree, I guess, with the war, and so I don't know if that's what he was meaning. You got some place I can eat around here? There's a diner about 30 miles up the highway. <laughs> Bro, there's... <laughs> me getting something here. Yeah, me. You bastard, come on, man. What did you say? So why are you pushing me? I haven't done anything to you. Well, you don't ask the questions around here, I do. You understand? Oh, you... Second. No, 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 no. Kiss my ass. Kiss my ass. Guys like you in this town. Drifters. First thing you know, we got a whole bunch of guys like you in this town. That's why. Besides, you wouldn't like it here. It's a quiet little town. In fact, you might say it's boring. Yeah, boring's nice. And I get paid to keep it that way. Boring. What an asshole, man. Dude, what? You, you, you're completely judging this guy. Like, if you know everything about him, like making him out to be some terrible person. What a scumbag. Straight ahead. If you want some friendly advice, get a haircut and take a bath. Hope this ride helped you out. How about you go to hell, man? How about that? <laughs> what a piece of shit. Have a nice day, huh? I would have told him, how about you brush your teeth because your breath smells like shit. <laughs> well, that would have been my response. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's gonna go back. Surprise, long time no see. <laughs> That's what I would say when he came back. Good to see you again, man. Headed back into town. Talking to you, goddamn. Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> I'd have to restrain myself. All right, you're under arrest. For what? Put your hands on the car. do he do? Now you put your hands on the car and you spread them. Now you're gonna put your hands on that car. Unbelievable. You, you decide right now. Dude, you took this to a level that it did need to go to. Get him back. Hey, try to be nice to some people. <laughs> really? Oh man. <laughs> Lack of self-awareness, man. Yeah, here. Huh? Why would you be carrying a knife like this? Hunting. That's a hell of a knife. <laughs> what do you hunt with a knife? Amy. <laughs> He's like, wouldn't you like to know? Now he's gonna use that against him, right? Hey, talk about your sorry looking humanity. You're just another smart ass drifter. Dude, everyone here's a dick. Morning, Will. Book this gentleman for vagrancy, resisting arrest, carrying a concealed weapon. <laughs> he says he uses it for hunting. Oh, man. What do you hunt? Elephants? Clean him up a little bit. All right, I'll be outside. Sounds like an animal. <sighs> oh. Mitch. Yo. Escort this young man downstairs with you. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, <laughs> you right looked at the way. guns. This is, this is, this is bullshit, you guys. And guys, you know, they, they experienced this coming back from the war, right? Especially a war like Vietnam. <laughs> Come on, Leroy, sling that paint, boy. <laughs> yeah, Leroy, get your ass to work. Name? Dude, a typewriter, damn. Well, this is early 80s, right? Your name? Your name. Name. Oh, some hey, flashbacks. If you're looking for trouble. You came to the right place, buddy. Hey, you got three seconds before I break your face in. Oh. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I mean, right now you're in you're in their territory. You can't just grab a cop like that, man. What do you know about the old Harry here is a soldier? Rambo. John Jay? Uh, John Jay. I promise you're gonna talk to me, soldier. I'm starting to dislike you. A lot. I'm gonna run a make on him. Put his name this in the guy, I guess he's he, he he seems a little bit more laid back. Across. So I guess first name John <sighs> J. Rambo. Push it. What a hell of a fucking name. Lonely smear and I'll run across. 
Bitch, if you don't put your goddamn hand down there, I'm gonna break it off. Mmm. Put it down, goddammit! Alright, what the hell is going on down here? Rambo, come on, man. Just get printed, bro. He won't let us print him well. Leave the ink on <laughs> He's wiping it off. <laughs> now listen, hard ass. You're facing the ass end of a 90 day incarceration. It's a $250 fine, which you don't look to me like you can pay. At 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, you're going up in front of that judge. Now we're going to make you a little bit more presentable for your courtroom appearance. And you can just impress the hell out of me by doing exactly as you're told. I would have said, like I said last time, dude, your breath smells like shit. <laughs> just to piss him off even more. I want you to go over and get that hose ready. Oh, you can do. Oh, oh shit. Shit. Look at this. damn. What the hell's he been into? Who gives a shit? All right, put your hands on top Battle of your head. Battle scars. But, ah, uh, he should, he really should oh, just, you know, dude. Do what I tell you. Oh, he should just do what they say, man. <laughs> oh, dude, come on, what man. Well, the man said clean him up. Oh, you piece of shit scumbag. Oh, man, what a, oh. Uh. Hey, sometimes I've been told, you know, stop cursing so much. You know what? This is an action film. It's uh, and Sylvester Stallone, I'm cursing. Fuck them. And I'm probably gonna drop the F-bomb a lot, man, so... What's the matter, Mitch? Don't you like water sports? All for walking. Uh, in, in right, town. Up, That's it. Oh, it's it's oh, dude. Oh, oh, dude, he's... Oh, yep, yep, PTSD. Yep. It's okay, Warren. Don't worry about the soap. He's tough. Oh, and what they're doing right now. Oh, what they're doing right now is triggering this. How blind are you? Can't you see this guy's crazy? Can't you see? Oh. I don't give a shit. <laughs> That's better. See there. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at his face, man. That's trauma, bro. Oh, no. They're not going to be able to do this. Don't move. No, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> of course, man. Jesus. Hey, man. Fuck it. Go for it. Kick some ass. There you go. Hell yeah. Eat shit. Dude. Oh, badass, man. There, there we go, man. There we go. Give him another left. Oh, no. Nice. <laughs> this guy. Damn. He just, hey, what the hell's going on? Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, dude. Oh, yes. Damn, man. Whoa, shit. Dude, his moves are insane. He, like, thinks on the spot immediately, like, depending on where they're standing or how they're leaning. Oh, oh dude, are you... Man, he's got reflexes of a cat and speed of a mongoose, man. Damn. Of course that guy would just want to shoot him when he's driving away on a motorcycle. Oh, yes. Oh, man. It's like, all oh, dude, all hell broke loose. You see how, like, he just dismantled all of them? I like when uh, the guy opened uh, that door, how he just came in with the elbow a couple times. That was... That was badass. I like that. Oh, yes. Nice. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I like these action stunts, early 80s. Especially with... Oh, nice. None of the CGI BS. Just some, just some good old school hardcore stunts, man. Hey, cut into the forest or trees or something with a bike where the car can't follow you. Oh, damn. That car is going through a beating, bro. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Oh, God, man. There we go, through the trees. Nice, nice. This is Will. I'm right on his tail. He's just east of Smith's farm. I mean, look, he obviously he's he's breaking a lot of laws right now. 
But his mind, man, his mind just... PTSD, trauma, flashbacks. In his mind, he was back back there back in nam and these were guys that were trying to cause him harm that's that's how he interpreted it right so this is his response they would still charge him with all these crimes though damn bro oh it's still going <laughs> dude that was kind of a funny slow just descent <laughs> oh man dude he's lucky he wasn't a river there he didn't just fall into the river like that Oh, damn. Oh, go, haul ass. Look at this guy, he's not gonna be able to catch you. Look at him. He's hopping these damn rocks like a goat. Too easy for him. I know you can hear me! You're finished! You've gone as far as you're gonna go! I <laughs> would've yelled out out loud. Fuck you! <laughs> that would've been me, man. All right, he's got his hunting knife. That's all he needs. A knife and a wife beater. He could survive any kind of terrain. It must be cold though, man. At this point, you're gonna have no choice but to just go on the run. Yep, just find supplies, find what you can. This is dirty ass red <laughs> blanket, man. He's up there, beyond the draw. Get Orville on the radio. Tell him to get out here with his damn dogs right away. It's gonna rain, we'll need dogs that can hunt on sight. Right. Okay, yeah, yeah I'm rooting for it's Sylvester Stallone, Rambo, but I hope the dogs, nothing happens to them. There we go, all right. Yep, gotta warm up, man. Wow, dude. Oh, and that's, you know, that was that was Sylvester Stallone doing that. Man, these dudes. What? Got a little compartment in there? Oh, is it a, like a compass? Keep those dogs I don't trust those bastards. Watch them bite the ass of that other cup. Guy's to be dangerous. He's just dumb. I don't know. It looks pretty resourceful to me so far, man. Oh, his babies, man. Got my babies too. There were three of us on him in the cell block down there. He went through us like we weren't even there. Come on. This guy suddenly got <laughs> suddenly got scared when the guy said that. Three of you. Oh wow, dude, okay, that's cool. Filming in these mountainous kind of locations. Badass, looks nice. I like that it's real, not some crazy ass set. That's, that's awesome. Yup, they're tracking them. Oh, are they gonna, show, I was gonna say, are they gonna show someone? You know, I know it wouldn't be, so it's just alone, but a stunt double going actually down the damn hill? Or cliff? Oh, 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 God. Oh, there is somebody actually there. Oh, my God, that's high, man. Nope. Stump people, hope, you know, I hope they get paid a lot of money, man. They're putting their ass on the line quite a bit. Oh, dude, look at that. Oh, that's a, that's a long fall. Oh. Uh, don't worry, Rambo, those rocks will break your fall. Oh, damn, okay. So they're gonna spot him. Damn. That's ballsy, man, because you might reach a point where you can't keep going down and then it's you can't really get back up. <laughs> That's ballsy. No, dude, hey, this bastard, dude, no way. The pilot wouldn't let him do that. Why are they? Why is he firing on him, dude? That's murder. Fuck you, man. Nah, hey, you know what? This guy can eat shit, man. I hope he's the first one to go. Dude needs an ass beating, man. I got you. 
jump, I guess. Ooh. Oh, yes. Oh, that's an awesome stunt, dude. Oh, ow, ow, fuck. Oh, that's hurt me, man. Oh. Ah, his ribs, dude. Oh man, he sliced himself. I'll just, I'll just scoot over, bro. <laughs> this guy thinks I can't just like move left to right a little bit and just avoid him. <laughs> Don't tell me he's gonna nail him <laughs> with the rock. Oh, uh, all right, well. Oh, dude. You ate shit, man. Karma, bro. You try to kill someone in cold blood. Damn. Oh, yeah, he's done. See you never. Oh, that's gonna bring back some flashbacks too. Yeah, hey, fuck it, take his gear, man. He doesn't need it anymore. Couldn't have happened to a better guy if you ask me. Alright, call, come in. Helicopter, come in, god damn it! Look! That's the helicopter. Hey, he didn't do that. He just fell out. Oh no, 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 shh. Damn, dude, he just splattered everywhere. I know he fell out of the helicopter, but for the pump blood to just be all up on that rock. And that pilot too, I mean, he got startled by that one rock hit, I mean. <laughs> but hey, the guy was kind of just dangling out all willy-nilly, right? So... Oh, oh, dude. Oh, that looks... Oh, oh, that looks so real. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, that looks so real. It's like they want to take it out on him. The, the helicopter dropped his ass. There's one man dead. It's not my fault. I don't want any more hurt. Freeze. Stand right where you are. Give yourself up. But I didn't do anything. Boy, don't make a move. I'll blow your head off. At this point. I didn't do anything. Oh, dude, these guys cease are... Fire! Cease fire! God damn it, cease fire! Why'd you fire in the first place, bro? All right, let's get down there. Move! Okay, at this point, how the hell do you expect me to turn myself in? I, I would think you're gonna kill me on sight. Oh, yeah, well, Lester, we're down in the gorge. Galt's dead, all right. Where the hell is that goddamn chopper? It says there's a storm headed your way. I don't give a goddamn what's <laughs> on its way. I don't want Galt's body out here all night. Yeah, one night won't hurt for that guy. John Rambo is a Vietnam vet. Green Beret, Congressional Medal of Honor. Guy's a war hero. <laughs> Something about that guy. Green Beret, Beret baby. Medal of Honor winner. Wow. I want you to do what I told you to do, goddammit. Get that chopper back here now. Out. Look at him. His lip is starting to quiver with fear. War hero. That's great. That's Why don't you just shut great. your mouth? Because he's one man. Wounded. Those green berets. They're real badasses. Why don't you let's take <laughs> these animals? Look at him. He's got doubt in his eyes. He's scared. Look at him. Look at him. It's our gold boy. Yeah, he looks like shit. What do you want me to say? <laughs> He's dead because of that psycho out there. Now you listen, boy. I'm gonna get that son of a bitch. I'm gonna pin that Congressional Medal of Honor to his liver with you or without you. So I guess, I, you know, there's situations, right, when somebody takes, you know, would probably take out one of your brothers. The helicopter dropped him, man. We're closing in. But I guess, you know, they're looking at it as we chased him, you know, wouldn't even be out here, and now one of our guys are dead, and so they want retribution. Will, come on, let's get out of here before it gets too dark. Goddamn pansy. 
Yeah, get up, Carrot Top. I'll see you later, Ward. <laughs> Dude, these guys. There he is. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. No, not the dogs, please. Oh. Oh. It's got a. Oh. Oh, because he took the guys. Okay. The guy from the helicopter, he took his gun. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> He's not even one of the cops, and <laughs> he got hit. Gun. No shit, bro. It's the goddamn scarecrow! Oh, it's real close. Go get it. No, no, not the other dog. Oh, oh no, poor baby. Oh. Yeah, no choice, though, man. Melton, uh. get a tourniquet around that. We gotta get this guy to a doctor. Where's the first aid kit? I left it in the car. Shit. These guys, man, completely unprepared. They deserve an ass whooping. Because whatever killed that last dog was no bullet. That's how. Hurry up. Gotta get him now. He's out of ammo. Move. You know I just shoot my babies. Get the son of a bitch. Go. Oh man. Oh, <laughs> poor guy. All three of his dogs. Shit. Right on top. We're gonna form a skirmish line, fifty feet apart. Too smart. We ain't hunting him. He's hunting us. Oh, hey, can't disagree there, man. This guy, the other guy didn't even bring a first aid kit, man. You're headed into the forest wilderness, taking down a guy who you found out is a Green Beret, Medal of Honor winner, war hero, and you don't even bring a first aid kit. I mean, hell, I don't think you should underestimate anybody. And especially when you find out their skills and capability and you know what they're capable of yeah you stock up and you come more prepared you go back to your car and get what you need oh dude i mean they're i guess kind of close to each other but they are separated enough to let's see oh i like the tension build up i like it Oh, dude, he was just right there. Oh, I thought I, I thought I saw him, but I was like, there's no way it can't be that easy. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, his arm. I spread out, I'll go this way. Oh, one at a time, man. Oh, his arm, dude. <laughs> hey, bro, you're lucky you didn't get stabbed or worse. Oh, shit. Oh. All right, well, now he got shot in the same arm where that got twisted. No, dude. Oh. They don't stand a chance, man. <laughs> oh no, oh, he got it the worst, look at that. Oh dude, you have no choice but to stand. <laughs> Stay there standing, taking the pain. Just gotta pull it out. But then again, that could be bad, right? Cause then blood loss. Bro, there could be a shitload more booby traps around there. Any step you take, man. Oh, God, man. They didn't even show what happened to this guy. Oh, my God, bro. I could have killed them all. I could have killed you. Oh. I the law. I hear it's me. Don't push it. Oh. give you a word you won't believe. 
Oh, bro! Dude, that was... Man. Yep. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. Look at him, man. Oh, he's... He's grateful to be alive. You see that? Just... Yeah, I need a fresh pair of boxers after that, you guys. What he said to him, oh, you know, in, in town you're the law, out here it's me. <laughs> Don't push it. Oh. And let him know, I could have I could have killed all, all of you. I could have killed you. I'm playing with you guys. This right here, this is a this is a Tuesday for me. That was badass, dude. That was badass. You look like you're ready to kill over, Will. Why don't you go home? That's <laughs> my problem. Your problem. Don't give me yeah, you got your ass kicked. About jurisdiction in this one, you understand? You got fucked up, bro. Bounce. Have been missed. The fugitive John Rambo is hiding. Well, I would have said the badass John Rambo is out there kicking ass, and whoever else goes there, gonna get their asses kicked too. Only their skill training and police enforcement techniques saved their lives. <laughs> no, uh, it looked more to me like they got completely screwed, and he spared them. <clears throat> Willers, uh, something I think you ought to know. What is it, Lester? What is it? For Christ's sake, spit it out! I was just talking to Mitch. Galt and a couple of deputies were uh, a little hard in the guy. Assholes. Make one goddamn bit of difference, Dave, and you know it! Okay. Mm. If one of my deputies... For one? ...is out of line with a prisoner, then the prisoner <laughs> comes to me with it. Kick the deputy's ass. Me! The law! You were the there, bro. Be. You were People a part of it, too. Fucking around with the law and all hell breaks loose. I never possessed God in heaven to make a man like Rambo. God didn't make Rambo. <laughs> I made him. Colonel Samuel Trotman. Colonel, what can I do for you? I've come to get my boy. Your boy? Hmm. I trained him. I commanded him in Vietnam for three years. I'd say that makes him mine. <laughs> Rambo's a civilian now. He's my problem. I didn't come here to rescue Rambo from you. Came here to rescue you from him. Yeah! <laughs> as soon as he said that first sentence, I knew it was coming. I'm just amazed that he allowed any of your posse to live. You're lucky to be breathing. That's just great. <laughs> Bruising his ego. You don't seem to want to accept the fact that you're dealing with an expert. With a man who's the best. Guns with knives with his bare hands. Man who's been trained to ignore pain. To live off the land. To eat things and to make a billy goat puke. <laughs> to kill. Period. Well, Rambo was the best. I love that. <laughs> yes. Oh, dude. That's so badass, man. Maybe in another life, someone talked about me that way. This guy. Doesn't matter what you throw at him. Doesn't matter. Oh, <laughs> damn. He's got enough food there for a long time, too. Like I, like I was saying, maybe someone in another life, in an alternate universe, like Jesse. He's someone that will haunt your nightmares. Okay, Colonel, now you got us all scared to death. What <laughs> does this think I ought to do about your psycho out there? Let him go. Do what? For now. Defuse the whole situation. Defuse him. In a couple of weeks, you'll pick him up in Seattle or someplace working in a car wash. I do my own work. I figure the best way to do that is to close my eyes and then hope he gets picked up in Seattle. You want a war you can't win? Are you telling me that 200 men against <laughs> no win situation for us? You send that many, don't forget one thing a good supply of body bags. Ooh! <laughs> yes! Let's go, bro. Let's go. I don't know which side you're on, Troutman, but if you're serious about taking Rambo out clean, follow me. You're gonna need a good supply of body bags. <laughs> Man, I like that. Dude, you gotta love 80s action movies. They got the best one-liners. State police calling John Rambo. Come in, please. You have our word that your services... Dude, it must be cold as hell there. He took a radio off of one of my deputies. And he has to be listening. Of course he's listening. He's not gonna break radio silence. He might do it for you, Colonel. Mm. Maybe you can talk him into sparing all our lives by giving himself up. <laughs> Smart ass. At least we'll get a radio fix on his position if you don't mind setting him up for it. That's like bringing the pigeons to the cat. Ha <laughs> bro. <laughs> he has so many great comebacks, dude. Uh, thanks for <laughs> This guy's ego is just continuously falling apart. I may only get one crack at this. Cover leader calling Raven. Cover leader calling Raven. I guess that's, you know. Cover leader to Raven. Talk to me, Johnny. That got his attention. 
Oh, but yeah, they're gonna get a fix on his location, which is not bad for him. They're the ones that are gonna get that are gonna eat shit, get their asses kicked. But yeah, they're gonna find out where he's at. They're all gone, sir. Rambo, are you all right? Baker team, they're all dead, sir. Not Delmore Barry. Barry's gone too, sir. Can't say him down to the bone. I'm sorry, I didn't know. I'm the last one, sir. Look, John, you've done some damage That's here, it. but they don't want any more trouble. I'm gonna come in there and fly you the hell out. Is that fair enough? I can't do that, sir. Well, look, John, we can't have you running around out there wasting friendly civilians. There are no friendly civilians. Well, I'm your friend, Johnny. I covered your ass more than once. Because he's the... They're not friendly well, civilians, man. They tried to take him out. King shit cup. All I wanted was something to eat. <laughs> yeah. Well, you did some pushing of your own, John. They drew first blood, not me. Oh, <laughs> it's true. Title drop, first blood. First blood. It's the way he sees it, man. Hey, I was fine until they, until they drew first blood. Coming leader to Raven. It's all hmm. finished, Colonel. Come first line, I'm gonna put every man I got up on that ridge. Now we'll get him my way. Get those body bags ready, bro. <laughs> he doesn't want to. Damn, look at that. He doesn't want to kill anyone. But at any point, other than the guy that fell out of the helicopter. Is he gonna actually gonna actually kill someone or he's just gonna incapacitate them? I feel like there could be some casualties here. Oh, get the, come on, bro. Are you serious? I'm gonna stay panning there. I was like, there's no way he's just gonna rise up somewhere. Dude, okay, this score, I like the score, man. It goes, it goes with the setting perfectly. Yeah, run kid. <laughs> he's just a kid, man. Look at that. Come on, there you go. Come on, come on, there we go. Okay, just let him go. I gotta to toss that gun a little further away though. Pa! Pa! Over there. Over there. Over there. I see him over there. I'll get him out. This way, let's go. I guess they weren't, uh, they didn't get the memo that there's someone, there's a green beret loose in the forest. That's insane, dude. He's got, what, what did the guy say, 200? He's got 200 guys on him, man. Now we got him. Ah. Uh. Surround the area with every man you've got, but don't move in. And in fact, don't do anything till I get there. I don't want him dead. I want him alive. <laughs> and that. Meanwhile, these guys are just unloading. He's just defending himself right now. He's out of ammo. Come on, guys, shoot. <laughs> I want you and Bruce, head around these trees, go to the front of that mine. Screw that, Clinton, I ain't going up there. <laughs> you think kiss my ass, dude. Raymond? What? Okay. I want you to go into that mine. Oh, not me. <laughs> Look, I do this part-time, <laughs> I didn't come here to get killed. Yeah, you really can't go in there just blasting like this is that. Lieutenant Clinton Morgan, National Guard leader, three zero seconds to come on out. Who's got the rocket launcher? Okay, you're just going to say that out loud, bro. Rambo! <laughs> Oh so god. <laughs> Maybe we should wait. Earl, this creep is a killer. I'm in charge and I say we blow it up. Oh dude, yeah, who I mean, yeah, if I'm in his shoes, man, I'm like, look, everyone here is not a friendly civilian, man. They they got him hunkered down right there. Why why, why resort to this? Hmm. He'll be fine. Just a scratch. Idiots. This guy, yeah, underestimating him and really just going to the extreme. You had him there. Why, why take out a rocket launcher? Wait him out. Better than immediately resorting to more violence like that. Move in a little closer, just like you and Jima. These guys, bro. Idiots. <laughs> yeah, morons, man. Okay, bro. What the hell do you think this is? Some kind of a circus? Didn't you get the word, Clinton? I told you people to wait until I got up here. Come on, I wasn't taking any chances. I have to dig his body out of there right away. Well, it's your mess, Clinton. You clean it up. Come on, I gotta be back at the <laughs> drugstore tomorrow. You better get started right away. <laughs> the drugstore. You know, they're celebrating, and who knows how deep this mine goes. And for them to just assume that they got him is, is very stupid. I don't think we're dealing with the sharpest tools in the shed here, though, so... Damn, okay, so now he's trapped in there unless there's another opening elsewhere. 
buried in a hole by a bunch of goddamn weekend warriors. <laughs> but you said he was the best you ever trained. There was a time when he was very special. Were you thinking that when he had the knife to your throat, bro? You want to talk tough now? That's going to look real good on his gravestone at Arlington. John Rambo, winner of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Killed for vagrancy in Jerkwater, USA. He killed a police officer for Christ's sake. He did not kill a police officer, you idiot. Talk to the pilot. What was his story? His uh -huh. character. He, he comes waltzing in here. How we should let the goddamn maniac go loose so he can save our own asses. Well, we saved our asses, Colonel. And we didn't let him go loose. Ego, bro. And he doesn't like it. Oh, dude. Some people have no accountability. Nothing's their fault. Unbelievable, man. <laughs> he could have taken them all out and he put the knife to his throat and what did he do afterwards he got on his knees and started almost crying like a little bitch and now he's over here throwing it in the other guy's face like ha you were hyping this guy up like he was a badass like he didn't just completely destroy you guys earlier how you doing will hold my calls don't get too comfortable bro it's not over yet Dude, that's too claustrophobic for me, man. Oh, in the dark, and these tight little tunnels with water just right there. Oh, no. Oh, and it's getting smaller, dude. Oh, it's getting tighter. Oh, that's claustrophobic as hell. No. Oh, there's some rats right there. You see that? Oh, dude. I don't know. I'd be afraid these rats are going to try to eat me. Oh. Oh, hell no. Just start biting. No, don't bite these things, but <laughs> I don't want to step on them or something. At least they're not spiders. Colonel. I'm like, bro, you're standing a little too damn close. <laughs> That's what I would say. Crotch right in his face. <laughs> well, miss, uh, like if I was out of line before, I just want to apologize. None of that makes much difference now, but... No, I guess not. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like you were cheated out of your chance. I wanted to kill that kid. Oh, I wanted to kill him so bad I could taste it. In Vietnam, you can bet that Rambo and I got pretty confused. When in doubt, kill. <laughs> what the hell? You're a civilian. I mean, you can go home to your wife and your house and your little flower garden. Yeah, what about you, Colonel? What did you figure out? <laughs> Look at him. He's <laughs> getting riled up again. You wrap your arms around him, give him a big sloppy kiss. Would you blow his <laughs> brains out? Oh, I gotta watch out, you know, I gotta get elected <laughs> next year. <laughs> I couldn't answer that until I met him face to face. It's just as well we never got a chance to find out. He's like secretly grateful he didn't have to face him, you know, face to face. Oh, because, you know, the, the, when he did have him face to face, what'd he do? He almost shit his pants. Oh, they're acting like he wanted it. Yeah, right, bro. All right, here we go. Here we go, all right. Nice. Shit, he was there all night. Must be, must be the next day, right? No way. Nice. There we go. Drive. Don't look at me, look at the road. <laughs> What's your name? Cathcart, Robert A. What do you got in the back, Robert A? M60. Go on, move, go on. Oh, there we go, bro. Yeah. Get out of the truck, bro. It's going like five miles an hour. You're gonna be fine. Alright, so he's got he's got a vehicle now and he's got some gear back there, dude. Whoa. Looks like somebody pulled the plug too soon. That Rambo guy on the loose again. Shit. <laughs> surprise, surprise. It's Rambo. He's still around. This guy, <laughs> just sleeping on the job. Somebody should go over there and just smack him across the head. They know that's it. Ooh. Hey man, ram him off the road. There you go, yes, yes, yes. Let's go, no hesitation. Do it again, do it again. Oh, oh, okay, I thought he was gonna, like a pit maneuver. Oh, 
Let's lose control, man. Damn. Oh. You guys should have known better. He's headed back. All right, so uh, is, is it more of like, you know what? <laughs> I'm bringing the fight to you guys. It's time to fuck everybody up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh hell yeah! Come on, give me that score. Hmm. Oh, damn, got dark quick. I guess they didn't bother chasing him. Oh dude, just ran. Oh man, just gas everywhere. All right, what's the plan, Rambo? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Oh, he's got a shitload of ammunition too, dude. No way. <laughs> Let everybody know I'm here, man. Woo! I like your style, Rambo. Oh, man. The per poor person who owns this gas station. No, I don't. They probably didn't deserve that. Holy fuck. All right, buddy. So you were saying about uh, maybe face to face? Look at him, look at him, man. See that face? He's shitting bricks, dude. Look at that. Plenty of places where he, where he could have gotten something to eat, bro. And you had to push it. You had to push him out. He'd have been on his way by now. Damn. Attention all civilians. Please evacuate the streets immediately. This is a police emergency. Please evacuate the streets immediately. Ah, damn. Ghost town now. Alright, what are you gonna do, bro? The kid is resilient. <laughs> you forget what you think and then clear out what you can. Get the fuck out of here, Troutman, and you take your advice with you. <laughs> Come on. You, know, you knew he was still alive, didn't you? I suspected. Sure, that's why you stuck around. You taught him how to get out of places like that cave. And why'd you assume he was dead, you fucking moron? You couldn't handle him before. Now, what makes you think you can handle him now? Exactly. God knows what damage he's prepared to do. Ooh, I can't wait. Please, as much damage as possible. Maximum damage. You're gonna die, Diesel. Everybody dies. <laughs> See, I'm the closest thing to family that he has left, and that may be all the edge I need. Christ, where do you people come from? <laughs> this guy, man. This is my job, Troutman. This is my town. And I'm not giving it up to you or to Rambo or to anybody else. Dude, don't you realize essentially you're like an ant compared to Rambo? And what he told him, there's only one person in this room that has half a chance. You know that hurt his, you know, you know that bruised his little ego, bro. Will, this is Lester. Do you copy? Over. Justin, get those people out of here. I don't care. Hey! <laughs> what are you gonna do, bro? Hide? So, okay. What's your plan here, buddy? This guy's a fucking idiot, man. He could be out there with his team helping, but he's delusional. He thinks that he's got a chance. He's hoping, like, I guess that's why he's staying there. He's hoping, like, Rambo would go there and he's like, oh, you know, maybe I can take him out and I'll feel like a badass and, and it inflates my, my little ego some more. There you go, man. Get ready. Be prepared. Look at you. Oh, he looks so badass, dude. Oh, man. Just the ammunition all around him. Dude, take out all the power. You're not going to be able to see him come in. Yes. I like this. All right. Gear up some more. Let's see what we got. Dude. Oh, <laughs> wait. Why'd you do that? Oh, he's trying to find, like, the real, uh, I guess the real artillery. Hey, what are you doing, Rambo? Okay. Okay, I gotcha. Oh, yes! Badass, dude. Dude, he's sending him in all directions on this roof. To the right, to the left, to the other side. Uh, 
He's creating a lot of diversions and um, basically getting him to just spin around. There we go. He wanted, yep, yep, wanted to spot him. And there he is. Look at him, bro. <laughs> sweating. Bro, sweating like a pig. You wanted this, man. You wanted this. Here I am. I'd, wa I'd walk up there and say, this is what you wanted, you know? You did this. You asked for this. Here I am, bro. Let's go. You really think, okay. Well, he's kind of walking through the front door, but does uh, he already saw that he's on the roof. You really think that it would be that easy? Seriously? Dude, is that quiet, man? I like this, I like this though. Just a little build up. Oh, oh yes! Yes! Eat shit, man. It's time we meet face to face. Come on. Ah, you crazy son of a bitch! Finish it. Oh, don't do it. You have no chance. Mm. Drop your weapon. I'm going to order the chopper in and fly you back to Bragg. Hold your fire! Hold your fire! Hold your fire. Think about what you're doing. There are nearly 200 men out there and a lot of M16s. That's it, John. Come on. You've done enough damage. This mission is over. It's done, man. It's done. Look at him out there. If you don't end this now, they're going to kill you. It's, it's over, over John. Johnny. It's over. Nothing is over. Nothing. <laughs> wow. You just don't turn it off. It wasn't my war, and I did what I had to do to win. But somebody wouldn't let us win. And I come back to the world, and I see all those maggots at the airport calling me baby killer and all kinds of vile crap. Who are they to protest me, huh? Unless they've been me and been there. It's a bad time for everyone, Rambo. It's all in the past now. For you, for me, civilian life is nothing. In the field, we had a code of honor. Back here, there's nothing. You're the last of an elite group. Don't end it like this. Back there, I can fly a gunship. I was in charge of million dollar equipment. Here, I can't even hold the jump. Fucking guys! Ah! Oh, oh God. Where is everybody? I have a friend. Was the Air Force. I had all these guys, man. Back there, I had all these fighting guys. Who were my friends? Because back here, there's nothing. I wore this black headband, I took one of those magic markers. We were always talking about Vegas and this fucking car. A red 58 Chevy convertible. He said, we're going to cruise till the tires fall off. When this bar in Saigon, and this kid comes up, he carried a shoe shine box. He says, uh, shine, please. I said, no, and he kept asking, yeah. And Joey said, yeah. I went to get a couple of beers. And he opened up the box, <laughs> fucking blew his body all over the place. And he's fucking screaming his pieces of them all over me. Just like, and I'm trying to pull him off, you know. And it's, it's my friend that's all over me. Blood and everything. And I'm trying to hold him together. And his fucking insides keep coming out. Nobody would help. They don't want to go home. I want to go home. I want to drive my Chevy. I said, well, what? I can't find your fucking legs. I can't find your legs. I can't get out of my head. I've been seven years. Wow, man. Wow. Wow. What a monologue. What That was... God, that was compelling, man. Whew. Man, I, I felt that. Wow. And this guy getting wheeled off. That was brilliant. That was... Oh my god. Dude, Sylvester Stallone, dude. Oh man, what a monologue. That was 
<clears throat> that was a moment of brilliance. <laughs> Holy shit. Man, that was a hell of a monologue. What a performance. What a delivery. That was flawless, y'all. That was flawless. And my baby's over. Look, she came over here. <laughs> she realized how awesome that monologue was too. She wants to <laughs> she wants to phrase it too. I know, right, baby? You heard? Did you hear did you hear Sylvester Stallone give that awesome monologue? Is that what what's got you all riled up? Now my boy's coming. <laughs> yeah, you heard it too, right, baby? First off, I love I love where the film took place. Um Kind of, you know, just your uh, wilderness, forest, mountains, small town area. You know, Sylvester Stallone, right? Just just got done, got done serving his country. You know, he comes back to a country where he's unwanted. I mean, he says that at the end, right? But we see that that's very prevalent at the beginning of the film. Now that it's all in context and, and we saw this entire journey of, you know, here, and obviously this is one chapter, there's 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 other Rambo films, but it's very sad because he was on his way to see an old buddy, to see an old friend. And I guess it was just them two out of the entire unit that were left. And then he finds out that he passed away from cancer. It, when he got there, it looked like he was excited. Like he was looking forward to it. He was happy to reconnect with, with one of his brothers. And his, I guess, final remaining brother of that unit and, and you saw that, you saw, you know, the, the kind of uh, excitement and, and happy to see him with the way he was interacting with that lady. And it's like, you know, uh, he couldn't wait to see him. And then he finds out that he died of cancer. And then it was kind of his aura, uh, you know, he, he changed. It, it seemed like he, he started, you know, to brood. Now realizing, now that we know, right? Now it's him, he's the last one. He's the last one in his unit other than the colonel. But you know, that's that's a different level, right? I guess you uh, probably spend a lot more time with uh, with your other with your other brothers that are no longer there. Started feeling probably completely alone. Now truly alone. He lost so many, he lost all his friends in, in Vietnam and now anyone here is gone too. Then he gets to the town, we see that asshole sheriff, you know, just Treat him like, like he's garbage. That was, that was pissing me off, man. Calling him a drifter, that he looked like he was up to no good. And to me, it looked like, you know, just a guy walking. I don't know, was it, was it initially that oh, he couldn't tell, he just thought he was a drifter? Or that, you know, based off of what we know, history, you know, in Vietnam wasn't popular, that this town or this particular sheriff or others just didn't agree with it and, and saw uh, veterans a certain kind of way during that time. And he just wanted to get a, he just wanted to get a bite to eat, man. That was it. He just, and then the asshole tells him there's about a diner, a great diner 30 miles down the road and he's passing all these restaurants. And he already feels alone. And, and now we know that he lost his last brother. Now he's walking through this town and immediately he's being pushed away. Like, we, we don't want you, you're lost, you're you're forgotten. You know, you're just a piece of garbage. Just, you know, basically rolling around on the street. Like, I do not want you here, we don't want you here. Honestly, good on him for turning around and like walking back in. Cause you know what? I, I could walk where I wanna walk. I could be where I wanna be. I'm not breaking any laws. And then that, that sheriff, man, just completely escalated it, right? And then he then he used that as a reason to, to arrest him. At the police station, those, those guys are just treating him like shit as well, man. And then we as the audience, we see that he's dealing with <clears throat> trauma and PTSD. And a lot of those flashbacks and a lot of those moments come back, they're being triggered by the way he's being treated, by what he's uh, experiencing there. He felt he was doing nothing wrong, which he wasn't, of course. And so he didn't want to comply with what they were telling him. But then it probably became very difficult for him because now he's starting to get these flashbacks. So his mind, uh, his mindset is kind of getting all warped and spinning. So it's probably, you know, difficult for him to, at that moment, kind of understand basic instructions. So now it's probably two things added. For one, you know, probably a little hard headed and then it's upset and pissed off, you know, he didn't do anything and he was arrested. And on the other hand, he's getting these flashbacks now. So, so it's just not a good mix. He, he viewed it as protecting himself. He was back in that moment, back in Nam, getting caught up, man, getting sliced up. 
and acted in the way that he saw fit to escape, to escape the danger, to save his life. And, you know, that resulted in a lot of cops getting their ass kicked. That was awesome how he was, uh, movements and the fighting style that he had. That was pretty cool. I, I like that. He was, he was very, um, very like agile with it. I, again, I liked when that door opened and he just starts elbowing that guy and he throws him off. <laughs> and then there's a guy in the hallway and he, he like slides and kicks him in the foot or something. He gets triggered like that and then he's in fight mode. I mean, God help you, man. Because he's not gonna have, he, well, he, I mean, he won't, he'll have some mercy on you, but you're gonna get a hell of an ass kicking. You're, you're gonna get out of his way. You're in his way, you're getting out of his way. Either willingly or he's gonna make you do it. Especially that one that was really giving him a hard time and putting the baton under his chin. Yeah, again, another guy with a bruised little ego that was taking it to the extreme, man. He wanted to take him out and he even told the pilot, you know, I'll, I'll kill you. You can't have someone like that in that situation. I'm surprised that the pilot didn't say, yeah, he fell out. The guy's in the helicopter, how the hell would he have killed him? Well, why would they think that, I guess? And why wouldn't the pilot just say, you know, hey, no, he, he fell. I mean, Rambo did throw the rock, but still, you know, it was an accident. He didn't, it wasn't in cold blood. Now he's willing to turn himself in. He says, I don't, you know, I don't want any more hurt. I believe were his, his, his exact words. And what do they do? They fire on him, man. First the sheriff fires and everybody fires and he's telling everyone to hold their fire like he didn't shoot first. Or we see them trying to, trying to track him and dude, he's just making easy work out of all of them, man. I liked the tension that we were receiving. We got, we got them kind of separated. We got them not, not so close to each other where he can kind of take one down at a time. And um, dude, that time that he was, I guess, camouflaged and he just came out of nowhere. Oh, one, one thing I, I do like is that when they were showing those sequences, they, they kept the shot, you know? So for example, in that moment when he was camouflaging and he came up, it held that shot, it held that angle. And, and then we saw him stab the guy in the leg and it kept it there. Instead of, we see the ambush and then we see a cut to like a close up and now he's like right there and then like a cut to where like he stabs his leg. Uh, no, we, we saw it all, you know, from that moment that the guy walked there, he, uh, Rambo jumped up, <clears throat> grabbed him and then stabbed him. There was no cut, it just it just stayed in one shot. Like that was, and the film did that multiple times. I, I like that. Sometimes like the cuts and everything and you see kind of the up close and personal and stuff like that, it looks cool, but I did like seeing kind of that, 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 you know, shot being held here. And again, I like the environment. He's very resourceful. Obviously, he's very capable. I mean, this is like a walk in the park to him. So he's very res resourceful. And so he immediately gets on like, I gotta gear up, I gotta get ready. Like he has that mindset, he has that skill set where I guess you throw him in a situation and you know, he'll adapt and he'll figure it out. The cops, especially that sheriff, I'm, you know, he just can't accept defeat. He can't accept that he was getting his ass kicked again and again and again and again. And the colonel shows up <laughs> and he's just like, he's making him feel small. He's making him feel like, you're, you're lucky to be alive, man, uh, which he was. And the sheriff doesn't like to hear that. He, it bruises his ego and he, you know, he doesn't want to admit that his guys were doing any kind of wrong. And he was there too when they were trying to fingerprint him and you know, just right in his face and everything. So it just felt like they were so incompetent. You know, They weren't prepared. They weren't taking it seriously. They underestimated him. I mean, hell, even after they find out about his credentials, those guys there in the, uh, I guess they were part of the National Guard. They were just uh, very impulsive, not making right decisions, then assuming that he he was dead. So then no, he comes back with a vengeance, man. And it's like he, he said, I'm taking the fight to you guys. You guys didn't want to just let it go. I told you, let it go, let it be. You're the law there, I'm the law here. Let's just go our separate ways and that'll be the end of it. And he said, okay. You don't want to do that? All right, I'm coming. I'm coming for you then. Now the the sheriff is shitting brain. <laughs> I like how they were showing that dude, uh, just completely sweating and nervous and, and and afraid after talking. You know, talking a lot of talk, trying to act tough, trying to act big and bad. Um, I do like the moments that the colonel had. Well, you know, he was there to tell us what really they're dealing with. He's a killing machine, essentially, right? This is what this is what he does. This is all that he knows. He gets in a situation. He gets out of it and he gets out of it one way. I, I like the uh, the dialogue that we were getting from him and some of those one-liners, you know, <laughs> you're gonna need a supply of a lot of body bags, man. 200 guys, you know, that's 
against him, yeah, you're gonna need 200, 200 plus body bags. That monologue, you guys, that was so, oh, that was so compelling, man, oh. That was brilliant acting. That was delivered beautifully. Oh, it was so sad too, man. It was so terrible what he was describing. First off, that here he's nothing, you know, out there he, 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 he felt wanted, he felt needed, he felt useful. And here he can't even, he said he can't even hold a job parking cars and the protesting and people calling him, you know, these terrible names and judging him and, and throwing all this at him when they didn't experience what he experienced or, you know, don't know what he went through and all of the terrible atrocities and the, the horrific horrific things that he saw over there and when he gets to talking about his friend and his friend talking about i guess that 58 chevy that he wanted to drive and then his his friend is essentially blown up and there's pieces of of his friend on him and he's trying to put him back together oh god man and that his friend was saying you know i just want to drive my 58 chevy and help me help me and then and Rambo said, and I, I couldn't find his legs. And the way he delivered it, man, and the way he's crouched down and breaking down and his voice starting to crack. And what a beautiful, what a beautiful monologue, man. What a, what a performance by Sylvester Stallone. And I, I, I guess, right, I mean, at that point, he has, what, two, maybe three Rocky movies out? Like I said, I think this one came probably came out around the same time as, uh, as Rocky three, And so... This was probably another look at him, right? Again, okay, action, but uh, and and in in that first Rocky film, he really got to show you know his, his acting chops. I mean, he's if I remember correctly, he was nominated for an Oscar, and man, again, I'm just blown away by that final monologue. Um, haunting, compelling, impactful, <sighs> beautiful, beautifully delivered. Just the first chapter in uh, in several stories for Rambo which we are going to check out the rest, you guys. We definitely are. That's it for the reaction. You guys, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the like button, hit the notification bell. I'm gonna watch the Rambo series. I'll be checking out Terminator 2 at the end of the month, and then um, also one or two horror films leading into October. And then in October, the bulk of that is going to be horror. Please comment below. Please share your feedback. Um, please feel free to share any uh, recommendations on films you'd like me to check out. And I will see you guys in the next reaction.